Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report news briefing for Thursday the 20th of August. The local media headlines today. How worried should we be about an impending food crisis? It sounds pretty scary and at County Hall they're getting ready for some new kind of parish relief scheme which will involve distributing nearly £700,000 worth of government aid. And that's when it starts getting tricky because if everyone in Cornwall gets the same we'll be lucky to see any change from about £1.20 each. So Cornwall Council has to come up with a fair way to share out the money and because they've now got only a few weeks left to do it there won't be any scrutiny. What could possibly go wrong? It looks like Public Health Cornwall has survived the immediate creation of the government's new crusade against Covid-19 but the devil will be in the detail. My advice on these things usually is to follow the money. Cornwall has seen its first Covid-19 death for four weeks. The victim was a resident in a care home. Meanwhile if you want to fly to Spain it would be a good idea to go now before Ryanair halves the number of flights between Newquay and Alicante. The Falmouth packet has an update on the Edward Hayne Hospital at St Ives whose future has been in doubt now for four years. The packet says health chiefs hope to make a decision about the building at a meeting in October. Pirate FM has an update on the Dawlish seawall which is often as far as rail passengers to or from Cornwall are able to go. The Cornish Times invites readers to visit the Bodmin Keep Army Museum and finally all is good in Cornwall Liveland where the weather's been given a name and life could get back to normal. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.